was scrolling down my Facebook feed the other day and I saw this video of these two ex-Navy SEALs talking about the virtues of waking up early and uh, about you know the practical things about you know it gives you more hours in the day and uh, it gives you some time to yourself before everyone else wakes up and also about the, the kind of intangible mental toughness that uh, ripping your sheets off at 6 a.m. to head out into a you know cold morning gives you and um, and I've been trying to do this recently and I've been trying to get up and get out and start my day and it's tough um, but there's a stillness before everything gets going that that breeds a kind of optimism Vlog day one. It's hot on my face. I'm thirsty, I'm just so thirsty all the time now. Oh God, that is good. Time to go snake some lunch. Get those macros in. Chicken Caesar from Greenhouse. I'll have the chicken macros and the salad macros. This part of the year is mostly about balancing imbalances in my weight training and technique. Today I was working on step ups, which will work on my single leg strength, balance interior quad muscles, and uh, interior hamstring and, and groin area which I was having a problem with this past year because I had a, a groin injury that's still kind of bothering me today so it's a bit of prehab preventative uh, rehabilitation and I also did some hyperextensions which is all just you know working that posterior chain glutes and hamstrings low back um, single leg dumbbell deadlifts again working the single leg strength stabilizers and then I did some nice hip thrusters not super heavy but I'm gonna have to get the butt firing a little bit and no telling why I'm feeling beyond hey hey I'm beyond all that Mama, would you like to be my sunshine? We touch my game, we gon' turn this to Columbine. Ice on my neck, cost me ten times three. Thirty thousand dollars for a new wicked flea. I just hit Rodeo and I spent like ten G's. I just did a show and spent the check on my mama. When I go and vacay, I might run out the Bahamas and I keep like ten phones. Then I'm really never home. All these new clones trying to leaving training for the day getting a little chillier you know the marine layer is kind of setting in should have brought a sweater time to head over to Santa Monica for an arthrogram on my hip inject some fluid in there check out the labrum get an MRI about to get an MRI this hip uh, Check out the labrum, see how torn it is. So, just got some liquid injected and uh, we'll check in after it's all done. So I left the hospital, everything was a success. Very short MRI, only about 25 minutes. Now I am uh, uh, heading home, part of my commute back to Santa Barbara.
what I've actually got going on is called a sports hernia, which is like a combination of different groin and hip injuries. Ab wall, there's some tearing, and uh, adductor, there's some inflammation. Yeah, it's kind of a kind of a, a mess down there. There's a chance I uh, may get a surgery done within the next week or two. Try and get everything all fixed up. Put some mesh down in the lower ab wall and potentially release the adductor muscle, which means they just cut it. They just cut the tendon and I wouldn't have a left adductor. The guy seems confident it'll work, but I gotta do, I gotta do some more research and get a second opinion on everything before I just kinda go off and start snipping off my muscles. But, you know, it could be worse.